thanking um, Sean Collins for arra arranging the weather and the swell for our event. Um, I want to thank uh, John Marshall Cousteau for arranging clean water for us to look at. And I want to thank Shane Dorian for inspiring all the kids that are ripping out there. So those three people are honorees for this year's Waterman's Ball. The um, event takes place on um, August 11. Just for everybody, for everybody's benefit, particularly couples. The event this year is on a Saturday. So I know what happens, normally about three, four days off. Hey, hey, when's, uh, when's the event? Oh, it's on Friday. No, no, it's on Saturday. No, no, it's Friday. And before you know it, the big argument. So don't argue. The event has changed from many years of being on a Friday. We're back to a Saturday. The good news for the golfers. The event is on the golf event is on a Friday, so you can have a happy time. I believe there's going to be plenty of watering holes on the course, and you won't have to go to work the next day. So you can, you know, put your head down, swing hard in case you hit it. But um, okay, so Waterman's is on uh, August 11th. This event, as you know, is sort of a kickoff to that. We use it as a uh, as an opportunity to set the base to raise funds for our 20 beneficiaries. And um, I'd like to extend our sincere gratitude to, to all the beneficiaries, many of whom have been um, with the event since, since the early days. I, know, I think we're 22 or 23 now. And um, these guys do such an incredible amount of work. And we've got um, you know, everyone from Surfrider, Surfrider Foundation and um, Jim and a couple of these people are here tonight, and I welcome everybody from from all beneficiary organisations. And um, on behalf of the surf industry, we'd like to express our sincere appreciation for all the work you guys do. Sometimes on a shoestring budget, and most importantly, and I like to thank them every opportunity I get. All the volunteers who support those beneficiary organisations, who put in thousands of hours of work, and you know, we got people all the way up to Alaska who, you know, aren't enjoying these type of conditions, but slugging it out in, in shocking conditions, kids on the weekend, beach cleanup, protests, etc., keeping all of us in the water, and, um, you know, it's, it's, it's thankless work, and, and they do it for, for us and for future generations. So, a big round of applause for the organisations and their volunteers. And then to, um, to all of you guys, I know that um, you know, we sort of tap the same crew every year. <laughs> you, you all get invited. It's really not to get money out of you, because we just love hanging out with you guys. <laughs> um, but honestly, on, um, you know, on behalf of the industry, I'm super appreciative. And um, the fact that so many of you guys come back year after year, you don't have to do it. I know how. I know the amount of solicitation that, that goes on in, uh, in, you know, in public daily and um, it's unfortunate that uh, the world has got to the point where, where we the people have to ensure our uh, ongoing health, safety, livelihoods, protection, etc, etc. I understand that the solicitations are endless and if anybody knows um, what it's like to be on the receiving end of solicitations, I can assure you, you're looking at someone who knows what it's like, and I can see a few other people in here who I know get tapped regularly, as most of you guys do. So we really appreciate the ongoing annual support you guys are here. You're the backbone of the fundraising efforts, and um, it truly is appreciated. And um, the beneficiaries I know appreciate it, and I'm super proud of the industry as a whole just for the stewardship, the ongoing fundraising that uh, that we've done over the years. I think we're approaching the six million dollars in net proceeds to the organisation, to the respective beneficiaries since the inception of the Waterman's Ball. And I know that in the early days we didn't, uh, it wasn't really a fundraiser, it was more of a party. Michael Thompson was running it in those days. So, it was party time. But, um, also, so apart from all of you guys as individuals, I would like to uh, thank all the returning sponsors. But first and foremost, I'd really like to, to thank the, uh, the Rich Carlton Hotel Group, particularly this, uh, this venue. Uh, 
It's an absolutely breathtaking venue, and um, the Ritz put their money where their mouth is. They, um, they support the local community. They are involved in, in a number of local environmental causes. And um, you know, we appreciate it. We really appreciate the venue. I think it's our third year back here. And um, it really is, um, it is a pleasure. They make us feel welcome. And, um, and we do appreciate it. So huge thanks to the staff of the Ritz Park. And um, then, of course, to a few of our returning sponsors, and if I don't, if I'm, I'm not going to sort of read everybody off, but primarily I'd like to um, give a big shout out and um, appreciation to the coolest car company in America, Audi. And if you aren't here driving an Audi, and I know a lot of you are, you should be driving one. So, a couple of dealers here, they'll give you their cars. But no, seriously, Audi has been a returning sponsor to the event for a number of years now. Vince and Alan and their team have been fantastic and um, we welcome them back and look forward to their involvement. And to the good golfers, I think there's a couple of hole-in-ones you can win a car. I know it's pretty easy to get those hole-in-ones, so give it a go. Um, and then also another returning sponsor, someone who's sort of quietly in the background, a year after year, supported this event for... Um, I know it's a long time. I've been doing this a long time, a lot longer than I originally intended. But um, I'm sure that Greg and the crew from Young's Market feel the same way. But a huge shout out to them for organising the um, environments, the beverages over the years. It truly is appreciated. So thank you to Young's Market. And then to um, to Noah for his efforts, the SEMA crew who um, have got this thing down like clockwork now and it really does run well and um, to everyone else involved in the organization, to you guys and your respective companies for everything you do, for the amazing, amazing items you're going to donate for the Waterman's Ball Silent Auction. I know it's going to be fantastic. I look forward to those things just rolling in and um, you know, hopefully we have a, a great event. I'm sure it will be. The goal this year is to, is to um, to raise the uh, the same that we've done over the last few years and, and uh, we are the recession busters here. This is the recession busting organization where we don't go backwards, we only want to go forwards. So we're looking to raise more than we did last year and um, we look forward to your support. It's going to be a great ball. Sorry, one last person that I do want to thank is Joni Casimiro who does such a fantastic job on the calendar and all the printing and everything and all you guys who place ads and get your ad material in late, she's looking for you. <laughs> so that's about it. We've got um, a few um, little items that uh, you can put in your pockets and take home for later if you're lucky enough to put on them. Um, so I'd like to call up our uh, our new guest uh, auctioneer, sorry, one last person. Bad note taking today. I drove from Santa Monica down to the hotel and I've got a serious case of car bust at the moment. It took me bloody hours to get you. But um, Payam, um, Payam, our musician, has, uh, he's played for us year in and year out. An amazing acoustic guitar, the guitarist. I think that he's a doctor of music. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, it's been a pleasure to have time involved, so thank, thank you, Pam. Thank you, my pleasure. Thank you. So I'm going to hand you over to our new um, guest.